Junior wide receiver Mac Collins likes to spend his time away from football at home with some friends and his favorite device. So, you know, I'm always on my computer. The guys will always make fun of me for it. I'm always on my computer. I'll, uh, I like to just do stuff around the house. I'll build stuff or take stuff apart and put it back together. And I'll cook for, you know, my girlfriend and my roommates if, if, we, if we're not at a training table or something like that. So I'll always find something to do. Since scoring only 14 points in the season opener, the UNC offense is averaging over 40 points per game. For our offense to click, it takes a little time. You know, practice isn't going to get you to that game mentality. So you have to have a few games under you to know what, what really looks like your offensive speed. So through these first, first few games, we slowly have learned you know, who can do this on the outside, what running backs are best at this, and what, com what throws are most comfortable for Marquise or Mitch. So you know, that time has really helped us a lot. Hollins is well known for his big plays. He realizes blocking and short passes are just as important. My role isn't to just be the big play guy. They expect me to block and be able to run short routes because you know, those big plays aren't always there. You, you know, I might have had a, a couple touchdowns on them, but you can't rely on me going deep every time because then all the defense has to do is back up. So my role as a receiver from the coach's point of view is to be just a, as great a blocker as I can be on a deep, deep ball and just as great a short route runner and crisp route runner as I am on a deep ball. So my, my role isn't just the, the deep threat. After four years of effective recruiting, Coach Fedora has assembled a wide receiving group that is experienced and talented. We're definitely the tightest group on the team. I think we have the most fun. And we're also the most experienced, which might may be a reason for it. So, you know, Quinn Shot, Quinn Shot, he's the, he's the old head of the group, has the most experience by far. And then Bug, me and Bug have the same amount of experience, same with Switzer. And then you got, you got guys like Damian and Prohl who are right there who, who have experience. So it, it, it's good to have so many guys that when we step on the field, we can have trust in each other. Because, oh, he's been there before. He knows what he's doing. You don't have to worry about, does he know this play? Or is he going to bust this route? What, what's going on? So it's awesome to have that dynamic. And then on the, on the practice field and in, in, in games, it's, it's always fun, you know, lighthearted but we know how to take care of business. Several young receivers are on their roster waiting for their turn to take the field. Jordan Fialto, Javal Millette, Josh Cabrera, Thomas Jackson. So we have you know, a plethora of people that can step right into our roles. Obviously, they won't have that game experience, but they've been, they've been with us for the last two years, and they, they know how we practice and what it takes to be that elite receiver on the team or be that go-to guy. So these guys are... You know, guys that have worked hard, even though they haven't got their shot just because there's so many people in front of them, they'll be ready when the, when the time comes. And we also have you know, the transfer, Jordan Cunningham, who's just itching to get back on the field. Obviously, he has to sit out a year. And he already has that experience, which would be great for the younger guys who don't have that game experience. He can be that mentor to them, and he can help them along the way. Hollins is an important member of the special teams units. The hardest guys to block are guys with speed because you can't get a hand on them. You know, if, if somebody's running at you that's 260, he's not going to be able to run past you. So even though he hits, he might hit you hard, really all you got to do is just hold your ground and you're going to be able to block him. But if you can't get a hand on a guy, he passes you up and then messes up somebody else's block behind you. So that ends up washing out three players instead of you know two or however many we're supposed to block you now freeing up somebody else. So it's definitely my speed on that and just my my willingness to want to do it. A lot of guys don't want to play special teams that I guess they think they're above it, but special teams is just as important as offense or defense. You might not get all that glory, but it's definitely just as important. The Tar Heels are fortunate to have several upperclassmen that are great players and great leaders. Uh, I think leadership is extremely important and not just to have you know, one guy that's the leader because during a game or throughout the game, you, know, you have offense on the field, defense on the sideline. If that one leader is not there, then what is the team supposed to fall apart? So we have guys that are all over the place that can help out. And you know, we have leaders on offensive lines. Like almost every single position group has their own leader that all are working together to keep the team where it needs to be. And you know, I, can, I, I try to lead as much as I can. But other guys, you know, trust me as a leader is really their opinion because I can't make myself a leader. You know, they, they have to make me a leader. And I, I, I try to set an example for these guys and 
try to influence them the best I can you know, to give us the best chance to win.